morning and welcome to the Northland News. I'm Jessica Peters. And I'm Rudy Harper. Taylor Whipple, a Park sophomore majoring in psychology, has been selected as one of Campus Connect's 2012 Newman Civic Fellows. The award recognizes inspiring college student leaders who have worked to find solutions for challenges facing their communities. Rafael Mayera has more. I'm here in the Kansas State School of the Blind to show you the wonderful work that Park student Taylor Whipple has been doing. The work that she does will touch you. Park student Taylor Whipple was always fascinated with art. I decided for my senior year of high school I wanted to do art therapy. And After high school, Whipple came to Park University and as part of her scholarship, she started to do community service here at the Kansas State School of the Blind. I had no idea there was such thing as music therapy until I came here and I fell in love with it. Because of her work, Whipple won an award. She is now part of the Campus Connects 2012 Newman Civic Fellows for helping out her community. Most of students here are blind or partially blind and they don't have a lot of joint muscle flexibility. Music is a way to teach them different movements. Like one girl can barely use one of her hands and we started making her pick things up with that hand. And it's really exciting to see her actually do that. And it's not hard to fall in love with these children. Daniel is only five years, but his knowledge about the piano is incredible. What note is that? A. D. Jordan is not shy to say her favorite part of the class. The dance thing. The dance. On the other hand, Becca likes to dance because... This is like exercising. And when I ask about how Weepo helps her, she says... Well, with the hips, but I'm getting better. For Jenny Carnes, music therapist at the school, Weepo's help is necessary. So if I help, then I don't have to bounce as much, and yet girls get more help for them. Valente is also in Weepo's class, and he already knows his favorite instrument. What's your favorite instrument? Guitar. Guitar. Why do you like the guitar? It's fun to play. And when Valente is put into the test about his guitar knowledge, he doesn't let his teacher down. What major? B e major? Good. How about this one? That's my favorite chord. For Ripple, the best part of the day is... Well, it just makes me happy because whenever I come in, they're all like, Oh, hi, Taylor. Like, oh, it's so exciting. <laughs> and after a long morning of exercising, they need to go to the next class. But not before saying bye with a smile in their faces. Bye, Camry! Yeah. Bye, Camry! Reporting for the Northland News, Rafael Vieira. I sat down with former student government president Kirby Apollos, and she says we finished strong this year. She would no longer be president of student government. She was defeated by John Sunga. Also advisor of student government, Jamie Uden, is looking forward to this upcoming year. Here's what Kirby and Mr. Uden had to say. I said no, and they're like, really? And I, underst I kind of understand it, but I don't think that you should ever underestimate anyone. Um, Janique wanted it, and so he worked hard for it, and he was deserving of it. Yes, I'll be a senator. I am, I don't think the title really has to do with your involvement, um, or your impact rather. Um, I love the student government, I love what we stand for, I love what we do, and I'll be part of it, whatever my title might be. I'm excited. Um, we have obviously a lot of leadership coming back, involvement, and a lot of senators are returning. We have some new senators too, and I think it's a good mix to have a little bit of both, and that's something that we were lacking this year. and so. Um, I th will benefit from that and so I think we can hit the ground running. I know a little bit more about what needs to be done as an advisor to help them. Uh, now new elected president John Sunga is new acting president and told the stylist it's time to get serious. He believes they can do more than allocate funds and says there isn't enough student representation. Students need a voice. We want to hear what you have to say. Go to our Facebook page Northland News and tell us what you think. Now, unfortunately, we did not get a chance to sit with Park University President Dr. Drogi when Northland News submitted questions, and he responded. That's coming up later. Reporting from Northland News, I'm Rafael Vieira. 
Revive held the second annual Battle of the Air Bands this past Thursday. Separate air bands showed up to display their lip syncing skills, ranging from country to classic rock to Broadway musicals. Matt DePlinche won third place, Scott Workington won second, and Danny Lee took the grand prize with the Justin Bieber cover. There was plenty going on and everyone there had fun. Revive plans to continue the tradition of Battle of the Air Bands next year. Tonight, the scribe and the English department invite you to join them for a prose and poetry reading. Students will be reading their creative works live, which they submitted to the scribe earlier this year. The winners of the prose, poetry, and artwork awards will be also announced tonight. And even if you have work that wasn't included in the journal this year, everyone is welcome to come and read their creative pieces. The reading begins at 5 p.m. in the David De Theater. Excuse me. Things were really shaken up on Tuesday at Park University. Ashley Robinson explains more about milkshakes. On Tuesday afternoon, sunshine was an unexpected surprise as shakes and smoothies were sold in Copley Quad. One worker tells us more about Park's fundraiser. Today we have one of our Sir George S. Pork Pig Parties. Um, we've been doing some parties over the course of the year that are fundraising for the class of 2015. It's the freshman class, um, and they're building up a class gift fund. Um, so this is one of those opportunities for um, students and faculty and staff to come and donate to that fund. We're actually making both types of shakes today. Um, we have some unhealthy milkshakes with some ice cream base here. And then over here we have our healthy shakes that are kind of like a protein shake or a smoothie. So everyone has a choice of what type they'd like to get. Uh, at the beginning of the year when all of the freshmen moved into their dorm rooms, we had these little piggy banks waiting for them so that over the course of the year when we have these events, they'll have their piggy bank and they can just collect their change in it and go ahead and bring it and that'll be their donation back to park and their admission to all the events. I was just in my statistics class up in the science building and then I was just kind of bummed out, you know, I was like, man, I have so much homework. And then I walked down the steps and heard my favorite song playing at the ice cream social. So I came down here and I got a milkshake. It's delicious. I'd say on a scale of 1 to 10, it's an 11. So whoever's making these, are, they're doing a great job. I'm just glad Park put something together like this for us students. You know, we're all stressed out from finals. I'm just glad they're here. The fundraiser lasted about four hours, and all donations will go to the fund for class of 2015. For more information, visit annualfund at park.edu. This is Ashley Robinson for the Northland News. Ever wish you could sit in on one of Beethoven's concerts? Well, on Sunday, you'll get your chance. Well, not exactly, but maybe the next best thing. That's because the Philharmonia of Greater Kansas City is coming to Park University. They'll be performing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony in the Grand Tyler Memorial Chapel at 3. Park students are free with their IDs and adults are $10 at the door. Great, great. We told you earlier about Dr. Drogi getting back to us with answers to qu some questions we had. We asked, what steps is the university taking to continue to make Park University tuition affordable? Will tuition increase? And will Park University consider acting in a new way if the staffer loan rate increases in percentage? Now he answered, quote, in recent years, affordable tuition and access to student loans represent a major concern that is widely discussed nationally. That topic is also certainly a focal point for Park University. However, our attention to ensure affordable tuition has been at the forefront since 1875. Now to see what all he had to say, go to the Northland News Facebook page. It is really icy, extremely icy cold. Last Wednesday, P. Sad put on a park carnival, park dance, and celebration. It was the end of the year bash, and for many students, it was a chance to escape the stress of finals and enjoy one evening with friends. Dinner was served barbecue style on the chapel lawn. There was a dunk tank, hammerhead, and many other games. P. Sad also had a raffle tickets to win some really great park gear and even a $100 gift card. The night ended with more food and a lot of dance. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. The Park University track and field team is preparing for the national meet. One student in particular has high expectations. Rico Anderson has more. Qualifying for nationals is a difficult task to achieve in collegiate athletics. It's even more difficult for members of collegiate track and field teams because they compete mostly individually. Theodore McCord, a member of the Park University track and field team, made qualifying for nationals look like a piece of cake. In just his second meet of the season, McCord was able to qualify for the 110 and 400 meter hurdles. He says he's excited about his opportunity to compete nationally. 
Uh, what I'm looking forward to is nationals, is just to see how far I can go this year. I mean, I'm only a freshman, and uh, I'm just happy I made it there. And just, I just want, I'm looking forward to see how far I can go. I'm trying to make it to the finals and hopefully become All American. McCord, a true freshman, is a sprinter slash hurdler for the Pirates, but has had the most success as a hurdler. She's now a little bit. In fact. He broke the school record for the 400 meter hurdles with a time of 53.96 seconds. He feels that his transition from high school to college was smooth, especially considering the success he's had in his first year as a pirate. However, he admits that having to change his approach to practicing was pivotal to his transition. Daddy, keep moving. It's a lot more serious. Uh, in high school, I mean, you can go to practice and not practice and uh, and not put all your fourth year full effort and still be able to go to the race and stuff. But in yeah, college, if you don't practice to your full potential and don't show a coach that you're able to run, then you're not going to be able to go to the races. And uh, he's, he, he's not afraid to leave you behind. Park University had three members from the track and field team to qualify for nationals this year, but none of them were freshmen. Qualifying for nationals as a freshman is impressive. However, McCord anticipated nothing less as he set the bar high for himself this season. He acknowledged that he expected to be here, but has bigger goals in mind. One of my goals I've already accomplished was to be the best here at Park University. And the uh, second one would be to be a national champion one day, be that number one spot uh, in the hurdles. And the last one would be to someday maybe even try, try out for the Olympics. McCord has only a few weeks to perfect his technique. The NAIA National Track and Field Meet will take place May 23rd through the 26th in Marion, Indiana. With the Northland News, I'm Rico Anderson. On Friday, the ladies of Park softball team had high hopes and swung for the fences. Literally. <laughs> They blasted five home runs during their quarterfinal doubleheader against Hannibal LaGrange. They swept the Trojans, winning 10 to 2 in the first game, and believe this, 15 to 2 in the second. The ladies are now tied for school record for the most wins in the season, and they currently stand at 32 and 14. They hope to beat the record tonight as well and secure their spot in the AMC Championship Series. They play tonight at 2 p.m. Good luck, ladies. Thanks for watching this edition of the Northland News. It's a sad day, but be sure to check back with us next semester. Have a great summer. Have a good summer.